Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how I make the Fancy Feast stove, camp stove, alcohol stove. Uh, my version is just slightly different, so we're going to make it like everybody else does. But in my version, the only real difference is I use the Armor Little Weenies can. These ones are uh, Vienna Sausage Barbecue flavored. But as you can see, the standard Fancy Feast cup is very small, comparatively. Now, when you make them this style, they tend to use more fuel. You can cook one good cup or two cups of water quickly with less than two ounces when using this size can. When you upgrade to this, this is not efficient to do just one cook session. But you can put four ounces in at one time, allow it to soak up real good before you light it, and then do two full water boil cooks. And it works more efficient than that. The only downside, especially if you're not using the yellow heat for your alcohol, is you get more blackening on the bottom of your pot due to the fact the distance from where the pot sits to here. Now this can be helpful in high wind environments because it's less room for the flame to travel so you don't get so much blowing but this is far more efficient if you're just doing say one or two cups of water in one shot of cooking far more efficient and if you really want to be efficient the yellow bottle heat is the best liquid to use I mean come on guys it comes out to 14 cents an ounce basically if you go grab it at Walmart where it's cheapest but let's get through the basics of what you'll need now you'll notice that inside mine I'm using the ceramic fiber um, the carbon fiber that everybody else uses, the black stuff, is good, but over time it shrinks. And then you get uneven heating. Um, ceramic fiber does not shrink. And I originally just used it because I had some left over from where I insulated part of my wood burner. But it can be got off eBay. You can get it at certain hardware stores. And I mean, it comes in various thicknesses. It really doesn't matter. I'd say if you're going to buy some, I'd try and get quarter inch, maybe three eighths. This is actually half, but I just put it down. I take a can and roll it to make it flatten out. Um, but it doesn't blacken. And I mean, I've seen everybody use everything from fiberglass insulation to actual fiberglass mesh. For wicks in these things. I actually saw one guy use sand. I'm not exactly sure why, but you can pretty much use anything. And with this, there's a lot less priming than your normal alcohol stove because it wicks up and you light it out here. And then you put your pot on and it puts the flame out on the inside and just lets it burn around the wicking. So it doesn't have to actually warm up under here, like on normal alcohol stoves when it gets cold, it's real hard to light them. Now to make this, you're going to need one of these two cans. Today we're going to be using the Fancy Feast. And basically all you have to do is take the cap off of it, and then take a pair of pliers, and the back side of where you do the pull tab will have a little piece that um, sticks out, and you just crimp that back down. I already did this one. But you crimp it back down with a pair of pliers. It just makes it easier for everything to go in. Then you need to take a tomato paste can. One of these guys. Little tomato paste cans. And you're going to want to drill two holes in the top for air ports. Now, it doesn't really matter what size you do. My recommendation would be anywhere from quarter inch to five sixteenths. Just do them right across from each other. I have not found that more holes is better. Um, it just too seems to be good. Now, I've seen a lot of other guys that like cut things and drill holes in the bottom. I took a grinder and just basically bored into the side of these in four spots. 
And basically all that does is allow, when that's sitting on the bottom of this other can, for it to get to the wicking that we're going to wrap around it. And it just makes it easier. So, like I said, I just took a grinder and just nicked it a little bit all the way around. Just helps the fluid move in there. It's nice and simple. So basically, you're going to take your carbon felt, or ceramic felt, I'm sorry, and you're going to wrap it around your can where your four edges are. And I always tell everybody when they make these, pull your felt just down over the bottom. We want it to kind of get caught in these edges because it'll make it go down better. Make it stay down there where it's supposed to be. And then when you get around there, you want it to overlap just a little bit. And we take our scissors and just cut it off. And like I said, we want it pushed over this just a little bit. Then you take your can. And this is the part that's not fun. And you spin. Spin, spin, spin. And keep spinning. Now you'll see I got about half inch to three quarters of an inch. What we do is we turn it over. And we just go around it with our thumb start pushing down forcing it down in the gap to tighten it up just keep doing it round and round using our thumb to push it down in the gap see where we're going with this the more we can push it down in and pack it in there the slower it's gonna burn And it also kind of self-centers the can for you. Go round and round. As you can see, we're getting it down in there. While we're doing this, I'm going to say that this has a lot of uses. I mean, yeah, backpacking, hiking stuff, this is a fast way. You're talking probably, a, depending on the altitude, you're talking about anywhere from a four to a six minute boil on your water for two cups. If you're using the yellow bottle of heat as your fuel. Now I've seen people use denatured alcohol, and yeah, it is a little cheaper, but it doesn't burn as good. And there's a lot of things you can use. To be honest, I've used moonshine before, and it works. But most of the other fuels, you know, they leave a lot of black residue. And this is very clean fuel. So, let's take a look at what we got here. As you can see, it's solid in there. Now, I can tell you another use for this is if your power goes out. Realistically, you should use it outside or in a well-ventilated area. But I'm going to say, if your power's out, this is a quick way to get a warm meal. Especially if you have a bottle of that yellow heat. I mean, that thing's 12 ounces, so even if you're doing like a single cook per time in this, doing two cups of water, that's six cooks easily in that bottle, if not eight. You know, so it's a nice thing to have around for emergencies, too. And now that you all know that this is a fancy feast can, and they cost about 65 cents, we can take that off now. 
no reason to have a pretty label on our pretty stove. But that's basically it. These things are not hard to make, guys. They are not hard to make. Clean, efficient, small, it weighs nothing. I mean, it literally weighs nothing. So that's all it takes. And like I said, don't don't be afraid to try this style too, you know? This was this was my original change up to the design and it has served me well. I'll tell you, it, it takes a little more fluid than the other one. Like I said, it's not as efficient. But when I'm on the trail cooking for me and my wife or me and my son, you know, I like to have to eat breakfast or lunch, and then I also like to make more water for coffee so I can load four ounces in this thing and do all my cooking straight back to back. You know what I mean? And this one down here is good, and you could probably try and do it, but I have had mixed results with it. A lot of it likes to burn out in the middle initially, or, you know, the wick gets overly, you know, wet, and then it burns it off faster. It's just not quite, this is very efficient for a single cook, and this is very efficient for a multi-cook kind of session. They both work great, but I think you'll find that for most normal people, the actual fancy fee style is the actual best style. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll put some uh, pictures in the end of the stoves operating and, you know, there's something to behold when they cook. I mean, you really, you really won't believe when you build one how well they actually work. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing compared to other alcohol stoves how nice these work so once again guys I appreciate it don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one